greetings and salutations to all my friends and family, fans and followers of the Zeta Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, thank you for joining us here for a very special Christmas-themed episode of The Revolution. I am your host, as always, Emperor Zeta Claus, coming to you from the Fortress of Solitude here in Etobicoke, Ontario, Canada. As I said, we have our very special Christmas-themed episode. We will take you to the tree decorating that we did this week, the Empress Catherine, the voice and I, all decorating our Christmas tree, and we're going to show you some of the ornaments that we have passed on through years and years of decorating this tree. Some of the stuff is older than I am. We have this very special rendition of Jingle Bells sung by Princess Catherine herself. We also have some very special Merry Christmas greetings from all the cast here at the Zeta Nation. One thing, quickly, I wanted to talk about, all I hear lately is Happy Holidays, Season Greetings. It is Merry Christmas, okay? December 25th worldwide is acknowledged as Christmas Day. Now, whether you're Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Satanist, you all get the 25th of December off. So show some respect and start wishing people a Merry Christmas. Because this Happy Holidays and Season Greetings bullshit needs to stop. So all you politically correct wannabe hippies out there, wake up. Anyways, that is enough for me. So let's get on with the show. Rock and roll, baby! And here we go! So much for the end of the world. And there's be there's the three and a half weeks left. Till the due date. Doctor says, however, as of the appointment this week, that it could be any time. Predictions are between Christmas and New Year. I am in a lot of pain because he's pressing harder on my sciatic nerve. Mm, my back pain is getting worse and my heartburn is getting worse. Usually they say if you have really, really bad heartburn, it's supposed to be have, like the more hair the kid's gonna have. I had heartburn with Catherine and she was bald <laughs> for over a year. It's harder to walk now. So there's starting to be more like a little bit of pressure as the lower he gets into my pelvis. Harder to work? Not really. I could do a lot of desk work. Sometimes getting to work is, can be a mission because I don't want to go. <laughs> Or it's hard to get up because I haven't slept all night. The hospital that I'm planning to have, that we're gonna have him at is Trillium. I wouldn't go to any other hospital. The same hospital Catherine is going at. I do get the odd craving. Portuguese chicken today. A burrito the other day. Sticking high up into my ribs, in my lung area. Get very winded. I'm ready for him to come out. That's when she put my head in between her thighs. And I wasn't getting any younger. It was a sober thought So have another drink and give me all you got DLC, five out of the six matches that actually mattered. And again, like I said, Dolph Ziggler and John Cena, they stole the show. The Ziggler proved why he belongs in the main event, but the ending, what the fuck was that? I honestly did not see AJ turning on Cena so quickly. And then Monday, Big E Langston from NXT shows up to beat the crap out of Cena because he's bros with AJ. But at least Dolph Ziggler lived up to his moniker. He stole the show and Cena's girlfriend. You get. So it was announced that CM Punk will be facing Ryback on the January 7th edition of Monday Night Raw in a TLC. I have a feeling it's going to have some kind of screwy finish and I'm hoping, praying, that The Rock shows up. Well now they have to start building up the Punk Rock feud. I think their match at Rumble will be fantastic and I think the build up is going to be amazing because you have two of the best talkers in the history of the business. It will do loose and bound better than Cena Rock. It's Clever So we also had the Slammies on Monday. Are you kidding me? John Cena, Superstar of the Year? How is Punk not the Superstar of the Year when he's been champion for the entire year? But what an amazing night with some special guest appearances. We saw the return of the New Age Outlaws. We saw Mean Gene, Jim Ross, Ricky Steamboat. Hell, we even saw the Boogeyman. But the best, greatest part of the night was the return of Woo! The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And right away they thrust him against the top guy in the company. 
How sick was it to see Ric Flair putting the figure four on Paul Heyman? Yes! 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 Congratulations to Zack Ryder on winning Best WWE YouTube Show of the Year with Z2 Long Island Story. And yes, this week Zack Ryder got on wrong. Even though it was only as a presenter, in a category that he should have won. I you know what I want for Christmas from the WWE? I want them to let Zack Ryder win a match. I'm hoping 2013 is a much better year for Ryder than 2012. Woo woo woo! You know it! Don't forget, let's get on to a seven figure broski. Now, let's build on this momentum, WWE, and start pushing Ryder the way he should have been pushed a long time ago. But we are here at home with a week to go before Christmas, and tonight we are going to decorate the Christmas tree. It's going to be myself, Princess Catherine, Hi, people. the voice, and Empress Mags. And this is our tree with the lights on, but we don't have any bulbs on it yet. So this is our Christmas bulb collection. Hmm? It's so pretty. This was one of my always my favorite parts about Christmas. I wish Alex was here. I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Here, look. Trumpet. Puffy's a baby. Oh, older than you. That's from when I was a kid. This one's older than you and me put together. That's in the 19... 40s. I got that from a friend of mine. Man, it's like the never-ending pit of ornaments. I remember getting this one when I was a kid. Ah, ah, ah. I can't believe Magda put that on our tree. Should be a Pittsburgh Penguins one. Another classic from Frank and Muth. Hey, look! A bulb from when my parents were married. The bulb's still here, but they're not married anymore. Hey, look at that beautiful candle. Let's make one trip and there are a few ornaments. Look at this one. From my very first Christmas in 1982. This is the one from Catherine's first Christmas. Hey, look. This one I actually had to glue back together because she was strong. So find a branch. Where's the green tree? Alright, so that is our Christmas tree. It looks fantastic. Christmas tree. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hello, people. Hello, people. It's comic book day. That's right. It's comic book day. We are here on Wednesday right before Christmas. This is our special holiday episode of comic book day. We have a very, very special guest with us today. Mommy and my baby brother. We have Empress Mags is coming with us for our Christmas comic book day. We are headed down to Rob's. 
We're going to Excalibur Comics. And then we will... See you soon, people. See you soon, people. Yeah, see you soon, people. I think we do We're here! Uh, we're back here at Excalibur Comics. Headed to see Robin Fred for our, our Merry Christmas edition. This is Excalibur Comics, 3030 Blur Street West, upstairs above the Kingsway Theater. Oh. Uh, start off with the Avengers, the second issue. This is a nice uh, book. It looks like the beginning of something interesting. It's not going to be just the regular Avengers, but the characters that are in the Marvel Universe, and they're going to kind of bring them out to the sort of thing. So, uh, Secret Avengers, this is also going to be uh, be canceled 37, but uh, Rick Meter is doing a great job on it. I recommend that. The um, Thor, the God of Thunder, beautiful artwork. I always love this stuff. It's always great to see this thing. The other thing, of course, is Mark Weed and Francis Yu on the Incredible Hulk. That's us. Yeah, I'm here. Mark Weed is a very good writer, and uh, uh, Francis Yu, beautiful artist, so a nice combination to the uh, Incredible Hulk. Last time was a good writer, but not so great <laughs> on it, so I wouldn't recommend that. Now, the other thing I also want to Matt Fraction and uh, AJ on, on the Hawkeye book. It's a fun book. It's a little more lighthearted than most of the Marvel books, and that's saying quite a bit. And it's quite an enjoyable little piece there, so I, I would recommend that as well. Night Owl. Okay, this is the last of the miniseries. And what I enjoyed about it was the fact that uh, uh, both uh, Andy and Joe Cooper were working on the book. Of course, Joe's passed away, but it's kind of nice to have this, you know, like a lot last summer off and that sort of thing. So. Well, I personally think that shooting Sandy was basically... No, no one's going to play for you. It shows back to six-year-old kids just to bring about the... Arm America. Unless you want to come here. They're going to bring in martial law. They want you to confiscate all the guns from Americans. Basically, the government can do anything to its people. You look at all the communist states, totalitarian dictatorships. The citizens do not have arms. Uh, you look at Nazi Germany when they invaded all of Europe, they didn't invade Switzerland. Why? Because the Swiss, each male goes okay. goes to the army for two years, and they actually the give them the gun and the bullets. And they leave the army. Army. Once you have armed the most you have to take over anything. Mind you, what happened in school is very tragic. However, I believe it was all planned for the destruction and becoming of the new age. Illuminati believes is the golden age. Coming around the uh, new Atlantis. So eventually, if you disarm the apocalypse, then you can actually have control. Uh, in the papers, I also noticed that Egypt is now protected. The Brotherhood uh, government formed after Mubarak was overthrown. Where were these tanks and so forth, and militia, when a mere five to ten thousand people overthrew Mubarak? They cannot overthrow uh, the Brotherhood. Very convenient. America gives Egypt over a billion dollars in arms every year, yet 5,000 people in a square can overthrow the president. And yet now they can't overthrow the present government. Where were the police when these protesters in Egypt were, were getting anti-government? Now you have tanks and machines, just like uh, Tiananmen Square in China. It's all planned. You cannot have 5,000 people overthrow a government that rules over 84 million people. Uh, it's all staged for CNN. This week is done. Thank you for joining us here once again for our very special Christmas episode of the revolution that is the Zeta Nation. Come back next week and check out an all-new episode right here on YouTube. Go back and check out all of our other episodes right here on YouTube. And subscribe to my channel, Emperor Zeta, right here on YouTube. Pick up your drop dead pinups. Electric Knight CD. It makes a great stocking stuffer. Check them out on iTunes and follow them on Twitter at Drop Dead Pinups. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Emperor Zeta. 
head down to Excalibur Comics for all your comic book related needs. And a very Merry Christmas to all my friends and family and fans and followers. And I am not a nugget. I'm a black heart. I'm a winner. I'm a soul survivor. Woo! Enough is enough. And it's time for a change.